Hello everybody, it's Alicia and it's time for a treasure chest unboxing. Woohoo! Um, I was invited last month to be a an official unboxer for treasure chest and they were so gracious enough to allow me to stay in the group and do it again this month, so thank you very much to all of them. If you don't know what treasure chest is, well it's like Lux Box where it is a subscription. Um, that you pay for. I believe it's 1500 for the group entrance fee. Pretty on par with almost all of the subscription boxes out there now. And it is more geared towards the fantasy, sci-fi, steampunk type of thing in Second Life. So that makes it very cool and a little out of my comfort zone because I don't normally do things like that. But it's very fun, and I really enjoy getting to see things that I probably would never have bought otherwise. Just because, again, not my normal, but can't wait to see everything. So, I got the HUD last night. Let's put that on you guys can see what's going on here. And we've got all of these cool stores. Ooh, I already see some stuff I want. And... Oh, some skins, I think? A hat? I can't see all of the names of the stores here, so we'll just get into it. But as you can see, it looks pretty cool this month. So, I've already clicked here to get all the loot, which is a great button, because you don't have to click individually. Although you can if you want to. Um, but I didn't, because I wanted all the loot. So, let me hop up on our post stand, and we'll get started. Okay, I think we're going to start with the Fallen Gods item, just because I know that's the skin, and I know that that's going to take me a little bit of time to put on and figure out with my head and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to try that first, um, and then I can just stay in the skin for the rest of the video, so you can check that out. I like their unboxing things here, it's really cute. Or not their unboxing, but like their box that they give with the stuff. <laughs> You guys know what I'm talking about. So what do we have here? We have got um, something called Twisted. And delete that. So Twisted XX, Twisted XY. Oh, okay, like the chromosomes. Cool. And we'll check this out. So this is for the female. It's called Eden. And the other one is called Seth. So okay, let me... I will just click my fingers, and the next time you see me, I will have everything on. And there we go. We have got the skin on. I am wearing underpants. <laughs> but this skin is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be dirt or what really all this is on the skin. Um, I don't know. I really can't tell. But... I like it. I think it's a really, really cool fantasy skin. Um, did not have any problems applying it using the Omega skin. Um, as you can see here, they also have for slink um, toenails and fingernails and I guess the body as well. Um, but I just used the Omega. I did make sure to wear the relays for my head and um, Going on back here. Not sure. I uh, make sure to wear the relays for my head and for my body. Um, I'm wearing this on the Alex head from Logo because, quite frankly, the um, it looked like hell on the Chloe head, <laughs> which is pretty par for the course when wearing Chloe. There's like no skins for it or anything like that, which is a really good reason to uh, like the base skin that it comes with, which is what I primarily wear. Um, something going on with the neck here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Could just be my shape. Could be anything. Because as you can see, when I changed heads, my eyes now are kind of popping out. So let me fix that real quick. Just so I don't scare small children. There we go. Um, I don't wear the Alex head very often, just because I like Chloe so much, and it feels more like me. Um, but it's pretty. I don't know. It's a cool skin. It's a really, really cool skin. 
no problems applying it, so yay! Okay, let's move on to our next item from Stitched Natives Poncho and Fur. Hmm. I don't really like ponchos. <laughs> Um, in real life or second life, to be honest with you. Not not a poncho person, but let's see here. Let's go this poncho. Okay, well it's nice. It's not my style. I don't care for ponchos in any world, but it's nicely done. Uh, there is a fur add-on. Let's check that out. Hey, you know what? If you've got some kind of caveman thing going on, this is your poncho. And there is a HUD to uh, check out color, I guess. Okay. So we'll turn that green, and oh, then you can just play with the colors. I guess. Oh, yep. See if we can tint on it. Oh, see? Lots of options there, and then you can turn the fringes on or off. Actually, that's that makes me like it a little bit better. But yep, there we go. Um that is the oh, and you can change the fur as well. Cool. Okay, so that's from Stitch. Uh, it's a native poncho. Not my thing. Um, maybe it is for somebody else. I, again, don't like ponchos. So, anyway. Um, but it looks good, and um, if you're into that kind of thing, you will like it. Okay. Let me clean this up. And we'll go on to our next one from SE. The Daydream Nautical Bed. Okay. And I know that this store has an actual name. It's not S-E, but I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I tried it before, and actually Abby asked me about a store called S-E uh, last month, and I had to try to just, like, spell it out for her, but I couldn't pronounce it. So we'll just go with S-E. And this is the Daydream Nautical Bun. Oh, how cute! That is adorable. So cute. Okay, and there's a HUD for this. And there you can see the name of the store. Um, <laughs> which again, I can't pronounce. That's really cute. And change the colors of the tentacles. Hey! And the colors of the wood. And then you can also delete the scripts out of this so that you can save on script time. Very cool. I like it. So, so cute. Alright. Um, next up, we've got from Fetch. And Fetch has Save Your Earrings and Broken Sign. Okay, let's check it out. I am broken. Aww. <laughs> no, don't be broken. Let's see. I'm, I'm sure it's supposed to go on the floor, but I'm going to put it up here. Aww. That's sad. <laughs> but it's a great sign. I think it's really well done and everything. And I love when they put a plug on things like this that just gives it that little added touch, I think. And let's try on some earrings. Oh, they're wings! Oh, how cute! Ah, let's not go into my head. There we go. Oh, they're angel wings with little colors on them. How cute! I like those! Let's pull these up. 
that they're actually in my ears. Cute. I'll fuss with those later, but I like those. I like those quite a bit, and I'm going to wear those. I don't wear earrings a whole lot in Second Life. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that, but I think it's because my hair usually covers um, my ears. Okay, uh, next up from Chimeric Fashion Masks. Oh, I love this store. I only came aware of this store in September for a pumpkin hunt, I think, that we were doing. And, um, they need some great masks. We have Bird Beak, and Gold and Silver, Bird Domino, Heavy Hood, Soiling Eye. Ooh, that sounds cool. Oh, look at that. Let me take my hair off. Oh, that is a neat, neat mask. I like that. Okay, and we'll try on the heavy hood. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Bird Domino Mask. And last up, the Bird Beak. Ooh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not sure why I would ever wear that, but it's kind of cool if I ever need to be a bird. I'm not putting them on correctly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I need to be a bird, but if I ever need to live out my Howard the Duck fantasies, now I have the mask for it. But those are really cool. I like those quite a bit. Alright. So, next up, we've got from Anacron, Thatched Cottage for Treasure Chest. Oh, look at that! It's like a little peasanty cottage. How cute! That's really nice. So it is just two rooms in the cottage and a little loft up there. That is adorable. Super cute! Okay, so that is from a Necron. And that is the Thatched Cottage. And next up, we're going to RW Watchdog Watchtower set. Ooh. Alright, so this store is Rowanwood. And it comes with the watchtower, with the unscripted ladder, and I guess a, a scripted ladder, and cinder blocks, and a barrel seat. So let's check this out. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Well, if you want to play war, <laughs> or hunting, or whatever, there you go. Oh, I, I like that. Again, not sure what I would use it for, um, but you know, I like having things like this in my inventory just because when I'm putting together a blog post, um, I often have an idea in my head, but I don't have the actual items to carry it out. So things like this are really, really helpful for me as a blogger. Um, just so that I have things to make pictures with. So this is cool. I like it. So that is from Rowanwood, and that is the Watchdog Watchtower set, and it also comes with extra cinder block seats and barrels. Very cool. Okay, next up from Adonis. I don't know the store. Adonis Arons Integrity Pack. Ooh. Well, let's check it out. 
Okay, what do we have here? It says, there's absolutely nothing in here that says what it is, and being that I don't know the store, um, we're just gonna put something on and hope that it's not a box. <laughs> Um, is it hair? Is it? I mean, I don't. I don't know what it is. There's nothing in here that says what this is. Oh, it is hair! Hey, way to go, me! Oh, that's cool. I don't know what's going on back here. Please don't think it's the skin. It's not. Um, I'm pretty sure that is my body. I didn't change anything, I didn't change neck, neck fixers or anything like that, so please don't look at that. <laughs> look at this hair though! How cool is this? This is not my typical style, but I'm digging it. How neat! And there is a HUD. Oh, so you can change the... Uh, the little gems. And the metals. That is the coolest hair. Oh my goodness. That is really cool. Um, let me try some of the other colors. I like the texture. The texture is nice. Let's see. Do they have like a blonde? What would be a blonde? I guess platinum? Very bright, vibrant blonde. Um, we'll do black because I know a lot of you like black hair. It's very cool. It's just a very cool hair. And we'll try one more on. Um, let's try lavender. So cute. Actually, I want to try one more. <laughs> Sorry. I want to try something called Water Spout. <gasps> oh, I love it. That's a great color. Goodness. I love it. I'm going to have to check the store out because I've never heard of them before and um, I want to see more hair. They're very, very cool. Okay, next up from Decoy. Hmm, I think I know this store, and I think I know who makes the stuff from this store, so let's go in on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this store, and I love the person who um, creates for it. She's awesome. So we've got the crisp hair. We've got it. Let's see, we've got hair, and we have a dye book. So, um, I'm assuming that is the HUD. So let's take this off and we'll put this one on. Oh, look at this! How cute! I love the braids! What an adorable hair! I like this! A little half pony up at the top. Cute! All right, let's put on the HUD and see what we got here. So we have a blonde. Oh, it's several shades of blonde. That's cute. And, oh, look at those. If you click on color trends, you get even more colors. Is awesome. Oh, I love it. How cute. And let's go with the chroma. Oh, this is great. Annette, you did a great job. <laughs> so cute. I love it. I'm gonna leave that on because that's cute and I love this color so much. So, so cute! Okay, so it's from Decoy, the crisp hair. Like it! 
Love it. Living it. Okay. Next up from Culprit, we've got Moonicorn. Ooh. That makes it sound like it's going to be some kind of unicorn, and I love unicorns. Oh, look at it! It's a rocking horse, but a rocking unicorn. How cute! Can I sit on it? Heck yes, I can! Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, how did you spend your Tuesday? Well, <laughs> that's so cute. That is Bored. This is Rocky Rider. And Rocky Rider 3. Woo! <laughs> See, there's also a box in here called Poses. Uh, oh, Supermoon Poses. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Aww. Look at that. The Thinking Wait Wish Star. I want to do a vlog picture with this. It is so cute. Really, really like that. Okay, so that is from Culprit, the Super Moon, and the Moonicorn. Love. Love, love, love. So now we've got from Shy, Rabbit Heads for Treasure Chest. Hmm. This is a rabbit head I'm going to have to wear. <laughs> Oh, let's check it out. It is Follow the White Rabbit. Mm. Oh, that is kind of scary, actually, isn't it? So let's check this out. Rabbit head with flower hat. Okay, let's take off this. And we'll turn it on this. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Oh my god, that is incredible, but so scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that's what the flower hat. Um, let's try this one. Oh my god. <laughs> that is frightening. Okay, that is frightening, but it's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's really, really well done, but I am scared to death. Holy cow. So cool. <laughs> so that's a rabbit head from Shy. And um, now I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> Okay, now we have got the Adora 3D Lost in Time Steam Necklace. I love this store. Whenever I see something from them, it is always incredibly well done. And just looks amazing. So, actually, I'm going to take off this poncho so that we can actually see the necklace. Oh my goodness, look at this necklace! How cool is this? Oh my goodness, I love it. That is just incredible. Look at all the clocks and the compass. A couple of compasses. And some little coins and the clocks. Oh, that looks great. That is probably one of the best necklaces I've seen in a while. And... I want to wear it all the time. <laughs> no pun intended with the time. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so that's from Eudora 3D. And that is Lost in Time Steam Necklace. I love it. So good. 
All right, moving right along, we've got from the Forge, Ace's Steamer Hat. Okay, let's check out this hat. And I wasn't supposed to res it. Cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. With the playing cards and the goggles. So this is a steampunk type hat. And of course my hair is in the back, but whatever. That looks really good. The goggles are a bit cracked, but that's cool. Gives it a touch of authenticity. And we've got here the Ace of Spades and the Joker. That is a really cool hat. I like that quite a bit. Still not sure why I'd wear it, but I don't care because it's awesome. Okay, so next up, UN from the Ashes box. What do we got going on here? From the Ashes, arm plate, shoulder plate. Hmm, let's check out the picture so we know what we're getting into here. Okay, so arm plates and shoulder plates. <laughs> All right. So that's really cool. I like the detail in it. I have no idea where you would wear this. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there are people in Second Life who roleplay all the time and um, are looking for something like this. The detail is really cool. I really like that. I think it's really pretty. I really, I want to kind of find a way to make it um, fashion-y, you know? I'm not sure how I would do that, but I'm going to do it. You wait and see. And you can change each thing individually. So that's very neat. See? Okay. I'm already kind of getting ideas of how I would do it. Um, and then you can change the leather here, which you can't see all that well under my hair, but there's leather under here. And you can do it, um, you can change the stuff either one at a time, like just the left side, or you can do both at once. So, very cool. I'm looking very steampunky right now. <laughs> Well, besides for the hearts on my bra, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so that's where you end. And what do we got left? Oh, that's it! So that is Treasure Chest for November. I like it. I thought there were a lot of really cool things. Things that even if you're not into fantasy and sci-fi and things like that, you could probably still get some kind of use out of it. Um, I know some people are saying that they really hope going forward that Treasure Chest will do themed months, and I do believe that they are thinking about that because like any good event or any good uh, store or anything, they do want to take the customer, uh, what the customers want in mind. But this month didn't have a theme, it's kind of all over the place, which is cool to me because I dig it. I like things that are all over the place. Um, some of the things, of course, are a miss for me, just because, hey, you're not going to like everything all the time, but there are some things that I think are just awesome and I will wear anyway, even though I am not really a role player. Um, I like this necklace and this hair, and I will probably get some use out of this skin too, just because it's so cool and dirty and grungy, but I like it. If you didn't get in on treasure chests this month and you really, really, really want to get this box, you can still join the group. It does cost 3000 Linden now. And just remember next month to get in on it when it only costs 1500 because they do some awesome things and I think you should do it. That is it for me. Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.